I'm gonna get back to work on this Ranger project. Uh, in the last video here, we were taking a look at this area being really rusty. So I think I'm gonna take this cross member off today, get these rivets off here and here and here and here. You can see why I wanna cut it out. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get these rivets out of here, these four. A method I find works really good is if you just take a grinding wheel and you cut slits in them, you can make, if you can get to both directions, this way and this way, in that case, I would do like a number sign or like a tic-tac-toe board across it. And it's real easy to shear off the face of that once you do that. But in this case, on these two, I can't do a tic-tac-toe board, so I'm just going to do, you know, vertical. You know, here I might be able to do some more, but it just makes it easier to take a smaller piece of the pie out of the rivet with your with your gun. Now something you can do, there's still a little bit of rivet left on the surface of this. You can take your grinder and you can just make it flush. And that way the rivet will actually pop out a lot easier. Next we'll take our punch and we'll just punch the rivet straight out. All right, that should be enough just to take this whole piece off. So as I've just used the air hammer just to try to knock these rivets out, you can see just the, what the vibrations have done to the frame. You know, it didn't look nearly that bad before and the more I do it, and just the vibrations make it just fall completely apart, chip out. So I'm glad I'm fixing this. And not just leaving it and running it. Because I mean, if an air hammer will do that to it, just from pounding on rivets, you know it's pretty bad. I'll show you guys one more time why we're doing this. It just completely rotted out. So I'll probably take this spring hanger off at some point. But for now, I'm just going to do 
this bottom lip probably from here to here and I'll weld in some eighth inch plate probably that looks like what that used to be here it's like a sixteenth 